Hi everybody, welcome to this Connect AR feature update video. Today we're going to talk about what's new in version 2.10 of Connect AR. So first we're going to talk about a major upgrade to one of our existing features. So to-dos have been replaced and upgraded to the BCF topic standard. Now they're still doing pretty much the same job. It's all about identifying, capturing, documenting and tracking all your field issues. But BCF topics add some really nice, um, unique functionality to that process. So the first thing is all the types, priorities, and statuses. All of those are completely customizable and really easy to filter inside Trimble Connect to make it a lot easier to manage. And then the second major benefit is that when you take those 3D snapshots, you can quickly just tap on the uh, thumbnail, load the 3D model up, and you'll get taken straight to the viewpoint where you captured that, that issue. Now, the other major benefit of BCF Topics is that it's an open standard. Uh, this means there's only over 400 other applications that support BCF Topics and can consume them. In this example, we're looking at that same BCF Topic we captured in Connect AR inside of Techless Structures. So you can see the viewpoint and all the comments um, and assignees, they've all flowed through into Techless Structures, which supports BCF Topics. Um, I can add comments, I can reassign that um, and mark that up inside of the Tecla environment. And you can see when I go back to Trimble Connect, all of that has been updated and uh, is viewable in the web. So the next big update also relates to Trimble Connect, and that is that we now have native support for Navisworks models inside of Trimble Connect web. Um, so this means instead of having to use Trimble Connect desktop to do the assimilation, you can just drag and drop um, straight into Trimble Connect web and it will assimilate uh, on our cloud servers. Uh, you can see the assimilation progress will be updated. That will take a little while depending on the size of your model. Um, could be anywhere between one to 10 minutes. Um, and then once that assimilation process is run through, you'll be able to just load that straight up, uh, straight away inside the web viewer and view your Navisworks models. But we've got an upgrade to our PDF placement. Uh, you can see that there's now a button in the bottom right where you can switch between horizontal or vertical placement of PDFs. Now this is nice because that lets you go out and work with cross sections and elevations or even details uh, on your PDF documents. Um, in this example, you can see I've got a detail of this uh, LVL uh, wall panels um, and I'm placing that with the two points just like you normally would um, and it's coming in vertically. So really nice to be able to look at those um, vertical sheets uh, on the in the field. So the final area where we've made some big improvements with this release is our QR marker extension. So first up, you can see that you can now create folders and place your markers inside of folders to help organize and manage them. Uh, also, when you create markers now, you can give them a custom name. Uh, so I really like to label them with, for example, the grid reference of the column that they're attached to, for example. Um, but now you can make it a lot easier to identify them. Uh, also, when you are creating your markers, you can now create a little 3D snapshot. So this will provide uh, additional context when you're sitting out and managing your markers on the job site, help remember where they're supposed to go. So it's a nice update. Um, this will be uh, available on the marker printout, which you can see has a, a nice new format tying together all of these improvements.